Meantime, as we mentioned, uh, Tesla is going to report tonight after the bell. Off to a rough start for the year so far. Our Phil Lebeau is here to talk about what we might expect. Uh, some key areas that uh, the street's looking for some clarity on, Phil. The, the one number that everybody's going to be focused on, Carl, and we talk about it every quarter, gross auto margins excluding zero emission vehicle credits. That number has been coming down at a pretty steady clip over the last couple of years. Look at the estimate for the fourth quarter, 15.7%. Back in the first quarter, it was up at 19%. Hey, a couple of years ago, I remember when it was well north of 20%. And the reason is because of what's happening in China. It is the world's largest EV market. It's a huge market for Tesla, understandably. They've got the Giga factory in Shanghai. The pricing pressure there has been immense, and it has not let up. We saw price cuts from Tesla in the fourth quarter. That will have a direct impact on those gross auto margins. In terms of deliveries, the street wants to know if they're going to give us guidance for 2024. Remember, Tesla delivered just over 1.8 million vehicles last year. The consensus right now going into the call today is 2.1 million is what they're expecting Tesla to give for a guidance. We'll see if they give us actual guidance or if we get something a little more vague, like, well, we're going to be up, I don't know, 15, 20 percent. We'll see during the call after the numbers when they come out. As you take a look at shares of Tesla, remember, the conference call with Elon Musk is at 5.30 this afternoon. And that's really, guys, when you start to see shares of Tesla move, depending on what he says during that call. And again, gross auto margins, excluding zero emission vehicle credits, that's the number people will be focused on.